but again, morning, but again, days. Good motherfucking morning, babies. How are you all doing today? Good. Chillin'. Good shit. XQCL. XQCL. Happy partner anniversary. Is that today? Party hat. Uh, wow. Amazing. Ten years. Is it ten years? Ten years on this website, partnered. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Time flies when you're being held hostage. Amazing. Very cool. Very, wow. Very nice. Let's get on with our day. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We got some subs and resubs on this beautiful day. Mm, Mo Chikara, 21 MTD, says Kuscha. Haynes and Sen, I have reinstalled and playing Lean now where. BTW all the pro lean players like Doublelift want to coach you but you won't accept because of your ego and anti-socialness. Yes. No need to clarify. You me bang bang did for three years. Enjoy the badge. Boop. Happy partner anniversary feels like man party hat. Party hat. Party party. Party party. Uh, ten times three hundred sixty-five times six hours wasted. Not quiet, not quiet, not quiet. Uh, fix that. Alright. Very nice. Uh, surely. Alphabet, welcome back. Cause Ray, it's Chrome's four years in a row. Boop. No, no message for the God Gamer. Nick, Rocket, Pandaria, Pakish, Ambi, and Teka, Goni, Karazini. Thank you. All right, let's see. We got some links. We got some links. Surely it's good stuff today, right? Please clarify what you just said, Mr. Force. Uh... I hope that the links are better than they usually are. Because they're usually... Oh, yeah, this is the I saw Kure this. Yeah, well, so my Tasha free here to Harry Huse. Oh, Tasha so well, I free for Malk. Oh, well. That was well, Tasha free for wine in spring and also. Huh? Her job and my cuke and also. True do a trick to have as a joy. I come my young from Kusis and fall out heaven. Also, set to that, Din Lille Pick or Drico Fash in Gula. Do you find Ruska my Dugini? Hey, Helvet is going to be a land or be stood. Ask for me, poor tea. Do you find you found if you had the first bremses put on the Diego Trusa? There's no good doom than Yavro trick the snitter. Svare, do you find in us? Forsen, 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 Link. Du, det går et rykt om at du driver og brenner hjemrent. Og så selger du til mindre år. Nei, nå må lens meg slutte å vase meg skitt. Da har du kanskje ikke noe imot at jeg ser meg litt rundt omkring? Nei, for all del. Ser du noe, Luka? 
Men sitt, oj, kjeften, du må ikke høre på han, det. Skjønner du at han er ikke helt god i høyet? Han, det har han etter mora, det. <laughs> Lensmann skulle ikke være interessert i å dele 60-40. Jeg tar 60'en og du 40'en. <laughs> Fjern det, svine! Satan sitt! Din jævla dildo! Du er arveløs! Arveløs! Now it's Norwegian upbringing. Kobe-chan, you're welcome. No further links, Your Honor. No further links. Yanchana gaki deした. Yamashi de gaki deした. ホワイトに書きでした。なんか船長が。何言ってるね。あー。って言われて。え、な、な、な、な、何?どう?どうだ?あはい、みたいな。なんか言ってて。なんか、めっちゃ、船長のおっぱい見てたんです。めっちゃ
Now, son, Lola Bunny is more than just perfect hips and revealing crop tops in a movie marketed towards children. She's an elite athlete who helped topple the Monstar Dynasty. I, it, it'd be weird if you weren't attracted to that, right? I, I, I mean, it's not like you can have intercourse with an animated character. The technology's just not there yet. Oh, that reminds me, we're gonna be selling your Oculus. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Lola Bunny's a babe. She's objectively attractive. Chasing cotton tail is part of growing up. Chasing cotton tail! It's a natural phase. We all grow out of it. Now go get me my Poon Squad shirt. She's a mother fudging babe. Now, son, I know we have 14 rabbits. All of them female. Dressed in basketball uniforms. But I promise there is nothing sexual about my relationship with those rabbits. Not one of them has ever been able to make me nut. You'll also notice your mom is not a rabbit. And that fucking sucks. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Lola Bunny's... Okay, you get it by now. Go jerk okay. off. I get it. <laughs> Fresh Tollwalker. Here's a puzzle that was popular on Twitter from Dr. Catherine Young. I may have a PhD, but I'm also apparently failing fourth grade math. Here's the problem. The square below is made up of four small squares. Can you shade half of it so that the unshaded part is also a square? I love sharing puzzles online, and I think it's something we should all do. I myself... Isn't it just like shading? Half of it on the outer rim, creating a one in the middle. We'll take up 50%. I'll share puzzles that I can't solve online, and I love getting help and I love getting feedback. No matter how smart you are, even if you have a PhD or you've done a math degree, there's still going to be problems you can't solve. That's fine. I love that we can share this on the internet and we can learn something new. So, here's a puzzle for kids that has stumped adults. Can you figure it out? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Yeah, I mean, PhD is not equal intelligence. Here's a it's just knowledge. Squares, making up a larger square. Nothing to do and with intelligence. That's what I keep saying, so man. The unshaded part People is mix up knowledge square. with intelligence. Now, at first, this puzzle seems impossible. Shading half would suggest that you shade two of the four squares. So if you were to shade these two squares, then the remaining portion would be two squares that are unshaded, and this forms a rectangle. Now, we have four squares, and we want to shade two of them, so there are six different ways we can do this. Here's one of the ways. This is not a solution. Here's another way. Here's a third way, which will leave two squares. Here's a fourth way, which leaves a rectangle. A fifth way, which leaves a rectangle. And finally, a sixth way, which leaves two squares. So none of these methods work. So the question is, how else can we shade the diagram in half? So let's think about this as an adult. Let's imagine that one of the small squares has a side length equal to one. So the other square also has a side length equal to one, and the entire large square has a side length equal to two. The total area of the large square will be two squared, or two times two, and that equals four. Now we want half of the area to be shaded. So half of the total will be four over two, which equals two. And we want this remaining half, which is unshaded, to be a square. So we need the unshaded square's area to be equal to 2. So if we let the unshaded square have a side length equal to s, we need s squared to be equal to 2, which means that s is equal to root 2. So how are we going to get a square with a side length equal to root 2? Let's think about this. Each square has a side length equal to 1. 
So now the length of the diagonal of the square will be equal to square root of two. So let's shade this portion. We have a right triangle with each of the legs equal to one. So its hypotenuse will be equal to the square root of one squared plus one squared, which equals the square root of two. So let's repeat the shading in each of the other three small squares. We're going to end up creating a picture frame and in the middle, we have a quadrilateral, which looks like a square. Now let's just go ahead and show this is in fact a square. Each of the shaded right triangles is an isosceles right triangle that bisects each small square. So bisecting a 90 degree angle will mean we have a 45 degree angle. The other acute angle will also be equal to 45 degrees. This is true for all of these unshaded triangles going around. Now in this unshaded quadrilateral, 45 degrees plus 45 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. So we have four right Retard. angles. Retard. Dude, do you actually think I'm wrong, Demoto? Like you're so fucking dumb. You, you, you fucking insert the paste link and you fucking skip forward. You call me a retard. You're so fucking Run dumb. More. Because you think my solution is wrong when I said you colored outside of this and leave the middle a uh, fucking uh, square. If you were to rotate this square that he has here, right? If you were to rotate it, you would get my solution, which is the exact same thing, right? You have the exact same square. But you're so fucking dumb. Holy fuck. The shaded isosceles right triangles are congruent to each other, so all of the hypotenuse lengths will be equal to each other. If you rotate this, this fucking thingy, clockwise or counterclockwise, then you will have an outer area covered in blue. There are multiple solutions. It's not just one solution. So we have four side lengths that are equal to each other and four right angles, and therefore this is a square. We've shaded half of each of the small squares, which means we've shaded half of the total diagram, and we have left an unshaded square. So this is in fact a solution. We have shaded half of the diagram, and but you the can't measure it easily. Is also I, I don't diagram, give a fuck if you can measure it easily or not. We know it's half because we've shaded each of these small I gave you a three second half. thought you know, so solution, is solution that was probably which is a solution and most people came up with but to you what might be wondering, uh, question was. are there any other solutions shaded oh half. look at that are there any other solutions my solution is there wow shut the fuck up retards you're so dumb huh are you actually questioning mensa certified iq huh that's not very smart or intelligent now you have to suffer. Guys, no, no! Hey, Jesse. Guys, holy crap! You're all alive. Thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry. I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. Guys, get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? I go tired of this game, Jesse. The key. You didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Nope. No. No. <laughs> Going home. Wasting all the ender pearls. Winslow, 
Sorry to interrupt whatever shit Link is playing, but you should turn on the option to disable right-clicking the minimap to move. You kept complaining about it. Yeah, but uh, then I want to use it for moving when I'm uh, watching a fight, you know. So uh, there's no good way, no good solution. The uh, cons and pros to either. I tried turning it off, but I'm so used to moving based on minimap that my character just stands and spawn for like fucking 20 seconds before I realize. Unlucky. Rivers, thank you, man. Welcome. Uh, Japanese characters, greed man. Welcome back. Cooking son as well. Cooking son. reading but they know exactly how long it takes the bunny hop from that to the other could just be a bit lucky too
Germany, Isaac Skr with three bits. I don't know what the fuck you're trying to type, but uh, something got censored there. Uh, four years on Konorpo says, hello, hello, hello. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male human and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? Not only are they in the field egg group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, Vaporeon are an average of three foot three inches tall and 63.9 pounds. This means they're large enough to be able to handle human dicks. And with their impressive base stats for HP and access to acid armor, you could be rough with one. Due to their mostly water-based biology, there's no doubt in my mind that an aroused Vaporeon would be incredibly wet. So wet that you could easily have sex with one for hours without getting sore. They can also learn the moves Attract, Baby Doll Eyes, Captivate, Charm, and Tail Whip along with not having fur to hide nipples, so it'd be incredibly easy for one to get you in the mood. With their abilities, water absorb, and hydration, they can easily recover from fatigue with enough water. No other Pokemon comes close to this level of compatibility. Also, fun fact, if you pull out enough, you can make your Vaporeon turn white. Hello, Mr. Force. Hello. I didn't hear you say no more links. I did. And even if you did, I don't care. <sighs> All right. Thank you for three years, Zuriana. Thank you for the. Uh, that's force of me. Uh, Zulmogorga. Nine years. Mine is nine years, Luli. My god. Time flies. Thank you, sir. A product of hemomancy experiments in Noxus, Briar was born a being of endless hunger who lived only for her next bloody meal. But after many years under lock and key, she learned to control her hunger and choose when to fully unleash. Now she's free and learning who's friend and who's food. As a jungler, Briar wants to eat camps until she sees a tasty pick or counter gank on the menu. When it's time to feast, she dives teeth first into the fight and loves every second of it. Hope you came hungry because we're serving up the facts about this insatiable jungler. Welcome to the Briar Champion Spotlight. Three, we can Sorry, old habit. Uh, hi! Briar's passive is Crimson Curse. She doesn't have any base health regen, and her abilities cost current health. She can still heal with potions and whatnot, but what she really wants is blood. Her attacks and abilities apply a stacking bleed that heals her based on the damage dealt. The lower her health, Happy partner the hungrier for she Sam gets, feels the greater birthday, her healing. Man. This means you are looking wants very cute into today. A not away from it. True. Her increased healing at low health makes her tough to kill, but she can bait enemies into becoming legs, tasty treats. Right? Food doesn't have to be blood? Huh. Before sampling the rest of her abilities, let's take a look at the main course of Briar's kit, Blood Frenzy. Her W sheds the pillory that restrains her and sends her leaping into frenzy mode for several seconds. She self taunts to the nearest meal in range, prioritizing enemy champions wherever possible. This means she loses control of her movement and attacks, but can still cast abilities, use summoner spells, and activate items. I'll fight you and your kids! While frenzied, she gains attack and move speed, and her attacks deal damage in an area. Briar can also recast W to empower her next attack to like attack. Attack. It deals extra damage based on the target's missing health, and heals her for a good chunk, too. Briar is at her strongest when she's in Blood Frenzy, because she can clear camps faster and devour enemies. But she's also out of your control. Choose your timing and targets wisely so you don't bite off more than you can chew. But I'm not full yet. With Head Rush, Briar leaps to a target, stuns them, and shreds their armor so they're easier to chew. She can also target an ally to leap to their location. You can cast its ability while Briar is in frenzy mode to help her nom the right target, like a delicious ADC instead of a yucky tank. But be careful. If Briar targets a minion or monster with Q during her frenzy, she will no longer prioritize enemy champions and start eating whatever's closest. Briar's E is Chilling Scream. She stops in place and charges up, gaining damage reduction and restoring health during the channel. On release, she lets loose a blood-curdling scream that damages and slows enemies in its path. With a full charge, the scream knocks enemies back, stunning them if they hit a wall and dealing tons of damage. Briar can cast its ability while she's in frenzy mode to snap out of it. In fact, it's the only way to end Blood Frenzy early, so don't waste that cooldown. Use it to heal up and disengage after you've gotten your fill of fighting, or slam your next target into a wall for seconds. We don't have to fight. You could just share your butt. Nowhere is safe from Briar when she's hungry, and that's all the time. For her ult, Certain Death, Briar can see Hemolith across the map. It travels over a huge range and marks the first enemy champ it hits as her prey. 
Then she flies to their location like a bat out of hell. On landing, she damages everything nearby and makes other enemies flee in terror. Then it's dinner time. Briar enters. Very similar to uh, Fiddlestickled. They gives the uh, fear too. Zone. What? I didn't even know. Oh! I didn't even know these are tricks. That's not real. Oh my gosh! I'm being hypnotized. Oh, flip out of the spin. Wow. <laughs> uh, do the some flips. Isamu flip. Con continue and the light. Okay, he's got in a trick called the Isamu flip, which I'm excited for. That is not real. Oh my gosh. I'm having a hard time not freaking out at every trick. So that, that first trick was Isamu flip. Wow. Yabai. Sugoi. Handstand tricks? Yeah. We're gonna try a hard handstand trick. Oh. Uh, Time. Okay, yeah, difficult handstand trick. I mean, they're all difficult. Oh, so like a handstand pivot 180 pivot, and then flip out. <laughs> oh my gosh, handstand 180 and a flip out. He's treating a handstand trick like a manual trick, which I guess it is in the Tony Hawk games. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's a mess up. A handstand flip is just a mess up. What? Okay, I don't even have. He doesn't have words. Uh, very impressive. Uh, Ismail from the US, he says that he heard a Dai saying that masturbating is makruh, which means not recommended. You know that we have five rulings, mandatory, then recommended, then permissible, then makruh, then haram. So makruh is a degree above haram, above prohibition. But if you do it, you're not sinful. If you leave it, then you are rewarded. So he says that I heard a da'i saying so. So what's the ruling on masturbation? Akhi, masturbation is prohibited and why do we say it's prohibited because our scholars like Sheikh bin Baz like Sheikh bin Ithaymin contemporary scholars great scholars of Islam say it is prohibited Imam Shafi'i before them decades ago centuries ago also said that it is haram because Allah mentioned in Surah Al-Mu'minun and in Surah Al-Ma'arij 
والذين هم لفروجهم حافظون الا على ما ملكت ايمان الا على ازواجهم او ما ملكت ايمانهم فانهم غير ملومين فمن ابتغى وراء ذلك فاولئك هم العادون so allah says that those who protect their private parts from any illicit prohibited sexual intercourse unless it's with their wives and what their right hand possesses and whoever chooses to fulfill his desire in other means then they are the transgressors and this brings us to uh, uh, Shamshad's from India's question so we hit two birds with one stone what kind of transgression is this whenever you do something that Allah has prohibited this is a form of transgression against Allah so this ayah Imam Shafi'i says is a clear cut that satisfying your sexual desires other than what Allah has permitted you to do is a form of transgression in another hadith and the Prophet ﷺ was addressing the youth and he said to them O oh, youth whoever is financially capable and physically capable of getting married then he should get married because this helps him to lower his gaze and protect his chastity so this is the natural channel okay prophet of allah i can't afford to get married what should i do i'm still suffering i cannot lower my gaze and i cannot preserve my chastity meaning that i can't get mad what to do did the prophet say go and masturbate because this is degree number two level two never he told them whoever is unable to afford it then he should fast this would was be say fat. to him a blockage of his sexual desire <laughs> 18k views 50k plus views all right check the rules before you fucking donate it's right there above the donation box man you personally like this guy how do you feel about homosexuality i don't give too much of a shit what people do behind closed doors with the consent of adults What is it, my fault? You're twice as likely to be robbed by a black? Welcome back, welcome. Quiet guy, bicycle from and flop with prime sub. Thank you. Thank you very much, Shane.
Yeah, it looks like me. Looks like me. Okay, I hope you uh, I hope you learned your lesson, chat. A real lesson. Don't ask me what lesson that is. But it is a real human lesson. Play Mao Shasar. Bruh, we're doing a. Uh, we're doing a uh, jungle man. Uh, we're mid as uh, secondary. Uh, you go over here, I think. Yeah, and a real human. Mm -hmm. All right, played the two games. Fiddlestick won both. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Bandes can't. People never learn. Do, 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 do. Where is he? Where's my Party fiddle? at Harry Potter University. Party at Harry Potter University. Party at Harry Potter University. Harry Potter? Uh. All right, very nice. I'm gonna fuck some shit up, runes. Right, uh. There's no good alternative to this one. Biscuit sucks. This one. I don't know if this one is good in jungle. Uh, fuck it. Not good for jungle. All right, all right, all right. Future is OP. Yeah, maybe it is. I have, to, I have to check it before I wreck it, man. Check it before I wreck it. Uh, ZSTV, welcome back. Uh, that's a... 
Eight years, thank you, man. Raw times three, he says. Whatever the fuck that means. Join the badge. Could you DD with the Prime Sub? Danzis, welcome back. And Matthias Aus. Ein Student Aus Uppsala la la. Uppsala la 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 la. Yeah, why are three years? 36 months with the God Gamer. Thank you, Mr. Force. Force him for all the good memories. All the good memories. I don't know about that. But I appreciate your delusions. Danke schön. Revolt of the Gifted. Thank you. That was Gamba.